thing I love about Lucy is her incredible professionalism mm. and her work ethic, if you like, if, for, for want of a better word. It's a great quality to, to work with because you feel very, sec, you know, secure. Mm. And my great, my feeling about Rachel <laughs> is <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> It's gone viral. It's gone viral. Has it? Has it? Viral. Oh, I, I, I hope, hope so. Not. I hope so. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> We're vibing already. Okay, this is great. Great. Opposites <laughs> oh, attract. Let's go. Um, guys, congratulations mm -hmm. on the movie. Sorry, <laughs> I did put my coffee down. There you oh, go. my God. So it's not annoying. I know. Sorry, it's just my something. Okay. What have I done? All right. <laughs> Helen Marin, are we good to go? We're good to go. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. <laughs> Uh, guys, congratulations on the movie. Um, you three are an iconic trio. Thank so. you. That's so sweet. Iconic. Put it on a t-shirt. He's just labelled it. It's gone viral. It's gone viral. So it's done. Yeah. It's, it's already happening. done. We can wrap. Um, <laughs> so at the start of the movie, Billy is obviously talking about his imposter syndrome. Mm. And I won't lie, simply by being in this room, I've got mega imposter syndrome right now. Me too. <laughs> we all do. Thank God. Thank God. Everybody oh, does. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, I love that. Um, so Helen, I'm going to start with you. Uh, you've done so much in your career, but am I right in thinking this is your first ever superhero role? Yes, it is my first superhero. I I'm not sure that I play it. No, you're a goddess. I don't. No, but... I play a goddess. Yeah. But within a superhero, you know, environment. Mm. Yes, I think it is the first time. Yeah. Love that. Um, how did this happen? Because it looked like you were having so much fun. We are having fun. I mean, <laughs> I was um, I was just asked, and I'd seen the first Shazam and loved it. I just love the, the the sweetness of it, the heart of it, the funniness of it. Mm. Not what I normally expect in a superhero movie. Mm. So I'd really enjoyed it, and and so when I was asked to be in the second one, my instinct was that will be cool. Yeah, I yeah. like the idea of that. And then I read the first scene of the script and I didn't re need to read any more. Yeah. That yeah. was it. Yeah. What an entrance. That's great. What yeah. an entrance. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. Not even a broken finger could stop you having so much no, fun. No, no, absolutely. No. <laughs> no. Bless you. <laughs> it's a Shazam thing. It's almost like a Shazam. Yeah, it's a little lightning, <laughs> lightning, <laughs> lightning <laughs> bolt. Yeah. I should just colour it yellow. <laughs> Paint it gold. Yeah, Paint it gold. Paint it gold. <laughs> that would be amazing. What a move. That would be such that a great Cool, um, so Rachel, it's so nice to have you all here in the UK, um, yeah. but I know you spent a lot of time filming in the UK before. Um, what was your favourite thing about spending time in London? And have oh you got God. hooked on any of our TV shows or anything yet? <laughs> you know what, I was on Graham Norton and I immediately fell in love with him and, and just the style of the show. But you know, living here, I didn't really get to do too much because COVID was very, very mm. rampant and still is obviously. And so uh, I was very much confined to my apartment for a lot, but I will say, Zeka on Kensington High Street. It's an Indian restaurant. My favorite place. I take everyone there. I took Lucy there the other night. Ooh. It's amazing. Love that. It's amazing. Delicious. Get the pickled cauliflower. Ooh. Tell them Rachel sent you. They know me there. <laughs> <laughs> they know Shout me there. I Zeka, showed right? up the yeah. other day. I'm going to say my favorite. Oh, yeah. Yes, Pakistani please. restaurant. Oh. Lahore. Okay. On the commercial road. Amazing. Mm. We have to go. Then we have to go. Yeah, we should go. Then we're sometime. there. Commercial it's road. Very... That's East London. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I live quite close to it. <laughs> There you go. Now you have a place to go. Now you have a place to go. It's great. Oh my god. I mean, it's not posh, you know. Nice. It's really good. Great. Yeah. I'm not even joking. This kind of like ties in quite nicely with the next question. I love the reference to Billy's lunch with Superman and Shazam at the end of the first film. Yeah. It got me thinking if you three could pick one person each to have lunch with, dead or alive, Ooh. for your dream lunch date, oh, who would you choose? So what this question always, question. I forget every person yeah, I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know, I'm like thinking, okay, dead or alive. Um. Let me go through my dead Rolodex. Well, I could have started <laughs> off, as I'm playing a sort of a, a goddess, Roman goddess, mm. I would say Caesar. Oh, I really? would like to have lunch with Caesar. I think that'd be interesting. And what would you ask him? Is there, is there I would ask, ask him Sorry. what Cleopatra was like. Oh, <laughs> nice, great, yeah. um, makes sense. I'd uh, I'd ask him what it was like crossing the Rubicon. What what made him <laughs> cross the Rubicon? Would you tell him to beware um, the Ides of March? <laughs> and I tell him to beware it's the coming Ides up. of March. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's coming up, so we should probably let him know. Yeah. What a great first shout that is, Caesar. <laughs> Good luck, guys. I know. <laughs> I, know right? I, I would. I, I know. Would I'm be like, interested in having um, lunch with uh, King King Tut. King Tut. Mine's going to be, yes. mine's gonna be wow. such a bad answer I just think that he now. was so young when he became the king. Mm. And, and you know, they have done research that um, he died of, like, he broke his bone and mm. then he got infected. Yeah. But just, you know, what it's like to and be back so in that beautiful. time. And, and the he way they constructed, so you know, oh those yes. incredible 
tombs and I don't know, there's so many secrets that people are still For trying sure. to find out and yeah. I'm, just, I'm fascinated. Mm. Uh, uh, Mine would luck. be, okay, I have to, I <laughs> Yours would be Lady not, Gaga. I know, right? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's see if Lady Gaga's available. No, I was gonna say George Cukor, the director. Um, who, cool. yeah, because yes. I just, you know, he obviously worked with Katherine Hepburn a lot, who I adore, and mm. um, I want to know all the drama. He made my favorite movie, I think of all time, which is called The Women, and it's an all mm. female all cast. Female cast. Even, yeah, the dog, yeah. even the animals in it yes. are all women. They're all no, a bit bitchy, aren't so they? They are. Well, there's one of my bitchy. favorite lines mm. is, um, and by the way, there's a name for you ladies, uh, only it's not used in high society, only in a kennel. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you'd be like refereeing this incredible lunch. Yeah. Like, that's amazing. But I mean, and the whole thing with the jungle red nail polish. I just want to know all of the like secrets from that set. So I would yeah. have I would have lunch with him. Mm. I love it. I think it'd be fun. Those were some a incredible varied... answers. I yeah. was not expecting those, those were answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Helen, I, I love the bridge fiasco uh, sequence at the start of the movie. And it got me thinking, you've achieved so much in your career, but there must also have been times where things didn't necessarily always <gasps> go to plan. Oh my God, absolutely. Um, Especially in the theatre. Mm. Oh my God, yeah. I've got such incredible theatre stories. What's, what's yes. your biggest, oh my God, I can't <laughs> believe that happened? The, my, the biggest oh my God moment was when I was doing a Shakespearean play in, in, in full, you know, period costume. Regalia. <laughs> Regalia yeah. at, in Stratford. And it was the end of the first act. Very quiet scene. The king and me sitting on a bench just quietly in Shakespearean language talking about what had happened. And out of the corner of my eye comes a man in a long raincoat carrying a huge bunch of daffodils. And he walks through <laughs> and me and the other actor look at each other and go, <laughs> Yeah, what's going on? And he walks slowly to the front of the stage carrying very seriously. The audience go utterly silent because they think it's part of the show, part of the play. Even though we've all been in period costume yeah. and everything. He's just in a raincoat. And he's yeah. in a raincoat. Yeah, he's in a flash. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, and <laughs> he comes to the front of the stage and very slowly takes one daffodil out and offers it to one of the audience. And the audience sort of looks up and they sort of get up, you know, and take the daffodil because they don't know what else to do. And then he offers it to another person very seriously and then to another person very seriously. And then the audience realise some this is not right. <laughs> and you this guys start right. stop talking. And we're just sitting on the bench watching all this. We don't know what you to do. You stopped your stop yeah. performing. We just stopped performing. Oh it gosh. was literally the end of the act. So we were so. Um, and our stage manager happened to be a very short, you know, really small. Yeah. And he was really tall. So oh my gosh, she like marches out there. <laughs> so then she has to come out to tell him to leave the stage. The stage so she comes him? onto the stage and this really tall, thin guy, and she starts pulling on his ring. No! <laughs> no. That is wild. Say, you know, excuse me, sir, you must leave the stage. Oh my God. So wow. anyway, that was, what, that was just one of my stories. Did you ever get like an story. explanation yeah. as to he why? Was, he was a, a, a director who'd gone mad. Oh, cool. And he'd just come out of the lunatic asylum. Oh, wow. Just been released, you know. And that was how he kind of knew how to negotiate backstage and come and walk out onto wow. the stage wow. without wow. anyone asking him. So anyway. It's great you got an explanation Incredible. for that story. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I, again, I was not expecting that <laughs> no. answer. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, it's a long that's story. A, oh, that was no, amazing. That's an incredible one. And scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just <laughs> cut it down. But that feels like a good place to end it, but I do have one last question. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, <laughs> Obviously, you guys are your sisters in the movie, and in, in real life, tensions between sisters can... In sibling <laughs> rivalry, absolutely. Exactly, yeah. and in the movie, that happens as well. So yeah. I thought it'd be a nice way to end the, end the interview for you guys to say what each of your favorite trait is about each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great question. It's endless, I wouldn't be able to... I know. It's well, endless. The thing I love about Lucy is her incredible professionalism mm. and her work ethic, if you like, if, well, for want of a better word. Her absolute <laughs> sort of um, feeling that we, we, we're going to do this and we're going to do it right and we're going to organise ourselves and, and right. know what we're doing. And it's, it's very, it's a great quality to, to work with because you feel very, sec you know, secure. Mm. And my great my feeling about Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite. She's really so not no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not, that's not, I, that was just a joke. <laughs> Is her spirit and her, her you know, the, the Rachelness of Rachel, her beautiful, light spirit, her kindness, 
her um, energy um, and, and of obviously her enormous talent, but it goes so much more than that. Her, the lightness of her, of her spirit is really wonderful Agreed. to be around. Oh, That's man. so lovely. Uh, how are you feeling how right now? How do I now? follow that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can leave. <laughs> I can go. I can actually quit my job. <laughs> you can finish with that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, the the sentiment it stands. It, it, it's it's shared, and it's a shared love that I think, at least like, I don't want to speak for all of us, but that we share. Mm, yeah. Um, and. <clears throat> I mean, when it comes to Lucy, Lucy's, I, I've said this so many times in front of you, close your ears, <laughs> where I'm like, she's, she's a mother. She takes care of her people. Mm. I remember like when we were working true. with Grace Fulton, she's told this story a bunch of times too, where there was debris flying and you were just kind of, hey guys, this is gonna hit our actors and this is gonna hit our stunt people and all these things. And Grace said, thank you. And you said, I've got your back. And that's like mm. quintessential Lucy Lou mm. is that she's no, got yeah. everybody's back. Helen's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get you back. <laughs> no, I know. I think, and also like for for me, it's like Helen's a Helen's a, a an advisor. It's like a, a, a spiritual sponsor, where you just get the you get the advice peppered in with quick remarks and <laughs> stories that you just want to listen to. And um, and as a as a newcomer to talk to to both of these women about the industry and being a, a, a woman in this world and in this, the world of movie making, it's hard. Mm. And so I needed them and I didn't even realize I needed them. Mm. And it wasn't until after I, I realized how lucky I was to have them at that period and point in my life. Oh, so That's so lovely. I have uh, to say, I have to, I have to chime in, otherwise it's gonna look silly. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate these guys. Say, <laughs> sorry, I have to do it, but I have to, give accolades to my both of my sisters and we call each other sisters because that's how we feel mm -hmm. and Helen is gorgeous I mean you are an incredible spirit you're generous you're beautiful and I know that people talk about your professionalism and how iconic you are but she's she's humble mm -hmm. and that's what makes her such an incredible artist mm -hmm. you know and that's something that um, you don't find all the time I think people are great at what they do, but they they feel it and they show it and they tell everybody about it, and that's not who she is. I'm very and proud of how brilliantly humble I am. <laughs> <laughs> I tell everyone that's about okay. it. I tell that's everyone about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> and Rachel is so open and available to what's coming, and she mm. can really sort of sponge it in, and also knows, you know what it is that's safe and what isn't. Mm -hmm. And I think that's not something that you find often in someone who's 21. Mm -hmm. You know, they kind of like do whatever and they go, uh, she's not somebody who's gonna do the peer pressure thing. She can really intensify um, understanding something to a degree that you just wouldn't expect for her age. Yeah. And I think that's remarkable and it's really gonna keep her safe. And, and Helen and I can speak for mm -hmm. both of us want her to be safe and obviously the success is going to follow no matter what mm -hmm. but sometimes you can you know you can get hurt along the way and mm -hmm. that will happen regardless but she'll she has a good common sense to her that is is for this age is pretty <laughs> remarkable yeah, absolutely. Yeah. these we are some you. of the best answers i've ever had nice. um, <laughs> and, uh, thank you so much thank you. Thank you. it's so lovely to meet Wonderful you all you're all Thank you so it's much. Gone viral. It's gone viral. You're going viral? Yeah. It's gone viral. My children stole the power of all the gods. This is very personal, Billy. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.